Good evening and welcome to the final look back episode. This is episode 25 of Five Years in the Making. Series 26 of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. And yes, the penultimate episode before the big special. Best moments of Series 25 coming right up. But before I got before I get to showing you these, I just want to convey a message. And the message is: I hope you've enjoyed the previous twenty-four of these lookbacks, the best moments. Um, in retrospect, it's exactly what you'd expect for each series to have its own retrospective lookback at the best moments, because. All this was in preparation for the 5th anniversary, that's right. And that is going to be happening. <clears throat> that's what we're celebrating here. So without further ado, it's now time to look at the best moments of Series 25, starting with this moment from Series 25. Episode 3, episode 858 overall. But man, this is when I tried the back to front format. Take a look at this. I'm James Barrett, and this is Nightly Newscast, your source for any news that's funny, satirical, and downright silly. This is our third episode, and you're about to have. The wow factor pinned on you once again. Cause you're about to <laughs> you're about to hear tonight's top story. Today's top story is a bunch of toys have apparently dropped off a bridge and come to life and started dancing around, making this big scene for children everywhere. This was brought to our attention by a very reliable source, whose name prefers to be unknown, so we can't disclose that. That's our top story, and now we hand you over to our eye in the sky for our traffic report. This is a very strange sight to behold. A herd of flying horses is crowding the motorway. Now, Jen, you're about to think that you've never seen something like this in real life. But now, you're seeing it before your eyes. And yes, Pegasus. A whole herd of them is on the motorway. That is our traffic report. And now it's back to you at the news desk. That is a strange traffic situation. Talk about strange traffic. I don't think you ever expected to see something like that ever, did you folks? And now it's time to hand you over to our forecaster for today's weather report. Whoa, what strange weather we've been having today. I, I don't know where it's come from. Well, the sky seems to be, instead of the sun, we seem to have this weird reddy orangey yellowy thing in the sky that seems to be bringing in temperatures of whoa according to day being Wednesday it's 77 degrees god we're screwed and uh, that's our weather for today back to you at the news desk oh 
Well, thank you. That was a very strange weather. Now, some more news for you guys. Apparently, the week is going to be shooting up to 10 days rather than the usual 7, which means instead of 365 days in a common year and 366 in a leap year, we are looking at years of about 600 days each. Well, okay. Now it's time for our resident critic to critique either a film or a book or music. Hand you over to the critic. Well, for tonight's review, I'll be reviewing the Lemon E-Phone. Now, it's just come onto the market from the new electronics company and rival for Apple, Lemon. Now, I just got an advanced e-phone 847p and used it for a few hours counting some apps and well while they might appear the same I say different to the app to Apple's range and I like different so I give it my seal of approval that's my review and thank you back to you at the news desk thanks for that review and thank all of and thank all of you're watching sorry and thank all of you for watching sorry bad script error bad script <laughs> typographical error cause uh, there's something funny to report on for next time I'll see you tomorrow guys for the fourth edition of Nightly Newscast until then, have a good evening with whatever you may be doing. Okay, that was our animation for today, guys. Now, before we wrap things up for this episode, I'd like you to take a look at this. What a mad day this has been. Courtney, you need to be doing your homework. Homework? I left the classroom before Ms. Mackay set the assigned to us. You mean you can't be bothered to sit and do your homework? You're being naughty. Not only will you get grounded but you'll get detention as well. What can I expect from my nerdy cousin? You can expect a two-week grounding from me. This is for refusing to do your homework. You're a very naughty girl. Go and start your homework, now. What about Scarlet? I've already done mine, and am now getting ready to watch a film. Don't just sit there, go and do your homework this instant. So, my naughty niece is refusing to do her homework is she? Afraid so, and I'm about to send her to bed. Bed? I'm not going to bed. Yes you are, and you are going now. Mum and Dad must be turning in their graves. Okay guys. That was my best moment from that episode. Now it's time to move on to my best moment from series 25. Well, moment from series 25. Episode 29, which was obviously episode 884 or, um, overall, and this is when I tried an Inception format. Take a look at this. Because I know that's what you're here for. Never mind. <laughs> I just felt like that, so I did it. You do what you feel like.
<laughs> okay, guys, before things get too over the top freaky here. What do you say we pause for this animation? Who's little baby getting visitors today? Knock knock. Granny and Grandad have come to see their baby granddaughter. How is Granny and Grandad's little flower? She is really well, thanks. How about you, Jess? I'm good, thanks. Settling into motherhood. I love my little Jane to bits. I'm sure you'll do a great job raising her. We are so very proud of you. We're the proud grandparents of a beautiful baby girl. And I'm the proud mother of the same beautiful baby girl. I love my daughter so much. We'll leave you to it, as we need to get her groceries. We hope Jane enjoys her visits from everyone else. We love you both so much. Hello. Nanny and Great Grandad have come to see baby Jane. Oh Jess. She is so cute. You must be so proud to have such a cute baby daughter. I am indeed. I love her so much. We are so very proud of you. I love my daughter so much. And we bet she loves her mommy. Well, we'd better be going now, as this little lovely has more visitors. We love you both to bits. Here we are, to see little Jane. She is ever so sweet. What a cute baby. Jess, you must be really proud. I am. She's so sweet. I love her to bits. We shall leave you to get on. We have come to see Jane. What a fucking cute baby. Olivia Laura Barrett. How dare you think it's appropriate to swear around my daughter. Jane is just a baby. More to the point she is your second cousin. You are going to bed when we get in. Naughty girl. No shit. Sherlock. On top of that, you are now grounded for three weeks. Hello Jess. We have come. To see baby Jean. Here she is. Oh she's so cute. Sweet baby girl. Just like her mummy. Sweet little flower drop. The Strattons are here to see baby Jane. What a very cute baby cutest baby in the world. She is so sweet. My tear ducts can't help but go off. I am so proud to be the mother of a very sweet baby daughter. Hey Jess. We have come to see baby Jane. And a very sweet baby she is too. My daughter is one very cute baby. I am one proud mother. I think she needs changing. I'll go and Hi change guys. her. Hi And welcome. To another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. The chill out still continues with episode 29 of 64. And you might be wondering why I'm filming with two cameras. This is an episode inception. I'm filming an episode within an episode. Something new. It's an experiment. So now we've got that out of the way. Let's get on with it, because I know that's what you're here for. Never mind. Okay, that was that moment, now you see what I mean? Our penultimate moment is taken from series 25, episode 45, which was the 900th episode overall. And take a look at this, I guarantee you'll laugh your socks off. Let's get this party started! <laughs> See how Pinkie Pie does. I 
well, good thinky pie. Battle two, here it goes. Pinkie Pie, have you played this game before? No, don't be silly. I'm a pony. That was very good, Pinkie Pie. You seem to be quite the expert at this. Party on, dude! Let's see how you do this round. <laughs> come on, come on! Let's see it! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> that is. That was. That's like almost unbelievable, Pinkie Pie. You're good at this. A knockout, Pinkie Pie. Oh, 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 oh. Party, party, party! You got a knockout. That is. That is just. That. That's Pinkie Pie. You're doing very good. Oh, best get back to it. You got a fight. Uh It's where you got hoofs. Remember, you need to remember it's square triangle mainly. Let's do this! Let's do it! Yeah, 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 come on! Let's see some color! Wait, we're seeing lots of that. <laughs> You are doing good. Yes, but I gotta beat his ass. Knockout! That was Pinkie Pie. That is just. That is. You, you're excellent, <laughs> Pinkie Pie. You're really good. <laughs> I can't believe this! Oh, next round. With a Pinkie Pie, do you want to pause it while I just go and check Sausage Rolls? Cheers Rooney, because we don't want the Sausage Rolls to burn, so you just keep it there paused. I'll hand this over to Samaj. There he is. You can uh, hold the camera and do a bit while I go and check Sausage Rolls. Whoa. Pinky, are you sure you've had no experience with this game before? You're doing pretty damn good for a first timer. So I've got to rush the Hello. Hello. Party, party! <laughs> Pinkie Pie's been playing Soul, um, Soul Edge. And that was that, guys. Finally, it's time to take a look at this moment.
from series 25, episode 56, I believe. This was uh, episode 911 overall. Take a look. I think I know what I'll be addressing my audience with. Address. Yup. And then Big Macintosh. I think he has something important to say, actually. But, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Why don't I just keep my mouth shut? What did he say? Why don't I just keep my mouth shut? Yup. Fine. Hey. So I'll just keep your tongue. No, don't do that. He was only joking. <laughs> he was only kidding. He wouldn't say that to be serious. So is Pinky Snell's just saying, how can it be serious when he's Big Macintosh? Both me and Pinky stay together in perfect harmony. Yeah, which pony would you say I go together with in perfect harmony? Isn't it obvious? Well, not if I'm asking. Uh, some clues would be appropriate. Mm. There goes the posh word again. <laughs> Only if you're Chris Pesky, but none of us are him, so appropriate is a good word to use. Of course it is. So, which pony do I go in perfect harmony with? Uh, well, obviously. Okay. So What's the point in asking a question that you already knew the answer to? And I bet he just said "yup" in your ear. Ah. Yup. <laughs> hey. Well, he wouldn't mean to do that unless we're criticising something he's doing. Which we're not. <laughs> or unless he hears someone criticising something I do and say. <laughs> well, uh, we're what? just looking through the breath of life. Why, Big Mac, you sounded like Kenny there. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you had your hand over your mouth so that the audience wouldn't establish your lips moving. <laughs> I think I think I did at that time. Does he say anything other than yup and nope? He will if you're not careful, Kenny. And you won't want to hear it. <laughs> Be on your best behaviour, Kenny. That's why Big Mac's here. To make sure you stay in line. <laughs> if he can't do it, I don't know who can. Anyway, guys. Before we go off the topic, I think it's time for Captain Obvious to join us. Unless we're going that obvious like it's, um, before we go way off topic like it's a mouldy bit of bread. I'm not Captain Obvious. Some... Pesky little blight has stolen me hat. Oh, that's because his brother's joined us. <laughs> what, Captain Obvious Junior? That, that'd be his son, you fool. <laughs> his brother. And that's it for the best moments, guys. Now... That's 25 episodes of Series 26 down. The next one will be the finale of Series 26. 
and the show celebrates five long and glorious years since its beginning in 2011. That's right. And so, well, now it's time for me to reveal to you guys, in words, what I've been, what else I've been working on in celebration. See, I've been working on videos, uh, a different series of videos, pertaining to the fifth anniversary celebration, where I do episodes that I show the whole compilation of episodes that I've introduced all the characters so far. Favorite episode compilations. That's my personal, my personal favorite. So, the first part of a video that show that that talks about references that the show has made to other media, um, and the inspirations I've taken from certain other shows and that. And yeah, that's right. So I've been a busy man sorting those out. There's still more of those to come. So you're not going to be at a loss. And well, we'll see you there. Until then, take care.